Hi friends, welcome to another medical video lecture by All Orden Law Team. Today we are going to talk about black eyes. You remember the red eyes refer to either conjunctivitis or anything that causes redness of the eyes. Whereas the black eyes generally ref refer to the discoloration of the skin around the eyes. As you know, the color of the blood changes over a period of time. That's the reason why it is called as black eyes. Let us try to understand what we mean when we say black eyes and uh, what is the significance of black eyes. Black eye is bruising to the tissue under the skin surrounding the eyes. You know, whenever there is any injury, and uh, there is a bleed in the subconjunctival tissue it causes discoloration of the skin as the color keeps changing with time initially it will be red to start with and then it changes to different colors before disappearing in few weeks black eyes is a very common presentation to the emergency departments and hence the referrals to the eye clinics Whenever you see black eyes, always think of possible life-threatening or vision-threatening injuries. Sometimes black eyes can be without any associated problems. But we need to rule out the life-threatening as well as vision-threatening problems. Always in a child with bilateral black eyes, we need to keep in mind possibility of non-accidental injuries. This may be, may be probably the chance uh, to save the child from further harm. Falls are very common cause of black eyes in elderly patients. Let us try to look for the important causes for black eyes. The most common is trauma especially when someone is punched on face or if patient had an accident or patient had a fall so trauma is the very common cause for black eyes secondly any surgery around the lids around the eyes can cause black eyes head injury sometimes especially the basilar skull fractures can cause bilateral black eyes obvious penetrating or blunt ocular injuries as well can cause black eyes as i said think of non-accidental injuries in pediatric patients spontaneous bleeding in a patient with bleeding disorders can be a reason sometimes Patients who are on blood thinning drugs like warfarin, clopidogrel, aspirin or patients who have got bleeding disorders tend to bleed more even after minor trauma. So what is the cause of black eyes? As I said, it is the discoloration of the skin due to blood leaking into the surrounding soft tissues of the eyes. Whenever you see a patient with black eyes, the most important thing is to rule out any neurological symptoms or signs like any history of loss of consciousness, memory loss or severe persistent headaches, drowsiness, seizures or vomiting suggest a significant head injury. Bilateral black eyes with out any obvious injuries around the eyes suggest basilar skull fracture in these patients it's very important to get a CT brain to rule out any intracranial or extracranial bleeds any symptom of blurring of vision double vision loss of vision flashing lights or shadows always suggest a significant ocular injury these patients need to be assessed by the ophthalmologist to rule out 
eye problems. Let us try to see what all we can see in terms of ocular injuries in a patient with black eyes. Patients can have scratches on the cornea that is corneal abrasion or sometimes corneal lacerations can be there which can be due to blunt trauma or penetrating trauma. High femur which is blood collection in the anterior chamber can happen with the blunt traumas. Patients can have open globe injuries or lid lacerations. Patients can develop traumatic cataract post penetrating or blunt ocular traumas. Post injury some patients can develop inflammation within the eye leading to iritis. Any significant injury to the eye can cause increase in the intraocular pressure leading to secondary glaucoma. Vitreous hemorrhage can happen in a patient with black eyes. Retinal tear or retinal detachment sometimes can be associated with vitreous hemorrhage in patients with ocular trauma. So any patient who comes with black eyes may not be having any problem with the vision or he can have significant problem with the eyes so what is the management of black eyes it's very simple if a patient has got any neurological symptoms or signs then the patient needs to be referred for a proper neurological assessment as any neurological symptom or sign can be life-threatening if patient has got any obvious ocular symptoms or any abnormal signs on examination, the patient needs to be referred to the ophthalmologist for assessment and management. So in a patient who has got black eyes, when you are examining the eyes, look for any signs of globe perforation or any laceration. If there is an obvious laceration, that will be easily seen. Sometimes a very deep anterior chamber or abnormal pupil or loss of vision sometimes suggest globe perforation. And if there is a perforation, it needs an urgent surgery to prevent the risk of loss of vision as well as loss of eye. If the force of injury is severe and if patient is complaining of diplopia we need to consider doing an x-ray orbit or sometimes a CT scan of the orbit to rule out any orbital wall fractures. If the patient is not able to see and you are not able to see the back of the eye then the patient needs an ultrasound B scan to rule out a retinal detachment or sometimes globe perforation. If the intraocular pressure is high in the eye then that needs treatment either with the drops or sometimes with systemic medications like uh, astazolamide oral or intravenous or sometimes intravenous mannitol. Any patient with black eye always explain the long-term risk of cataract, glaucoma or retinal detachment and the patient needs a long term or sometimes even lifelong follow up with optician or ophthalmologist to pick up these vision threatening problems. What is the prognosis of black eyes? Black eyes themselves are not usually serious but they sometimes can suggest a serious injury. If there are no associated serious injuries, generally the black eyes subside with time within few days. Generally the swelling starts to come down within few days and the bruise will turn brownish to yellow eventually before disappearing completely. They take about one to two weeks to heal completely. Ice packs to the skin around the eyes sometimes can be helpful. Patients can take some 
painkillers such as paracetamol or brufen for the pain aspirin which sometimes can cause increased bleeding should be avoided in patients i hope you found this presentation on black eyes useful for uh, understanding what are black eyes and what we need to look for in patients who develop black eyes due to any reason do share like subscribe and comment on the videos on on a non law thank you